I still remember the first day at the Chinese school uh, classroom that Joyce and uh, Scani in three and a half years ago. It's just by a chance. And I said yes to stay in the classroom and attended the meeting. And I even didn't know what Toast, Toastmasters was. I thought it's about really to toast bread. I even didn't think of toast speech. <laughs> Seriously, I didn't know. So I stayed and I learned about what Toastmasters was. Through these three and a half years, and I only walked on one path which was snow compared to current members now. But during the time, what I learned through the, this whole journey, I learned the ABC and lead to my current life with the limitless future. So the ABC I want to talk about is they accept our uniqueness, A. B is build our confidence. C is create opportunities. So let's talk, let me talk about accept our uniqueness. As you already saw the speakers at our club earlier you heard, we all are different, not only from the look, from the tongue, from the topics, from ideas, we are all different. But we are all fully accepted as who we are. That's how the beginning when I joined the club, I felt nervous. I don't know if you, sh you still remember your icebreaker speech. I practiced my icebreaker speech for weeks. And my title was, I had a dream. <laughs> and yeah, during my work time, during my lunch time, I just practice, practice. Eventually I was able to deliver my icebreaker speech. But everyone, no matter what kind of mistakes I, show, I sh showed during the meeting or during my speech, or what kind of ideas I shared, everyone showed the 100% of support. So this environment has just provided such support and also Joy felt the same and many of the members here probably felt the same. Because when you feel supported, you are not judged. You are just comfortable need to share who you are. That's how I felt powerful, is be myself. Who is with me? Put a one in the chat if you agree with me. Feeling powerful is being yourself. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so this is our club and also the entire Toastmaster community is a very, very safe environment provided this playground, we can fall, we can be, be playful or being serious or being savvy or whatever. But everyone is here, want you to succeed. No one wants you to fail. B is build confidence. As I told you, when I was doing my icebreaker speech, I practiced for weeks. And uh, I was still nervous. But through the weekly meetings, regardless I gave a speech or not, I was giving a speaking opportunity from those table topic sessions or evaluation or other roles. So over time, I built the skills that I originally wanted is the public speaking and improve language skills and the confidence. During my last keynote speaker, I said, we usually only focus on the forward side of goal, right? 
What's your initial goal when you join Toastmasters? Can you put your first goal in the chat? The initial goal. I want the experienced members also to reveal your first initial goal. <clears throat> okay, public speaking skills, communication skills, overcome fear, communication skills. Yeah, many of those are very common, right? So when I joined the Toastmasters, I was insecure because English is not my first language. Even though I was managing a team of eight to nine designers, I only felt that maybe because my design skill was good enough or only within this specific area was good enough, but I wasn't confident enough. I always doubt my, doubted myself. But over this practice, it's not only the forward go anymore, like public speaking or communication skill or language improvement. Now I reached out, I reached out and I reached out all directions, whatever our members can bring to me or the community can bring to me or even outside the world can bring to me. I felt my confidence was strongly boosted through this technical skills, which is project planning, through my uh, innovative planning pathway, and also by writing. In fact, I'm a very bad writer. It's so hard for me to write. And by over time, I learned that it's better for me to speak before write. I can put down my ideas, then I can revise, revise. So all these potential skills and talents in myself, I didn't know. That's why now I don't feel nervous whenever who asks me to give a speech. I say yes. I took it as an opportunity, a challenge to practice my skills because those skills will build my confidence. Okay, now the third is create opportunities. At the Toastmasters, when you join the Toastmasters, who promised you that you are going to make a million or become a become a millionaire. In fact, actually millionaire is not rich enough. Now. <laughs> Billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody promised you that, right? Nobody would promise you for sure you are land a, like a perfect job, dream job. No. Nobody said that, but you can reach the goals that you want to reach if you put enough into it. I often say the one thing to our new members, if whoever joined the club because of my influence, I said, how much you put in, then you will get how much out. Some of you, if you knew, <laughs> wait, just now we de delivered a speech and also Yunyun delivered the speeches. I want to say I'm so proud of them because how they presented, in fact, much better than me, because they have the structure, they have the professionalism. Through time, it's really, you can see their progress there. And also because of this uh, club, also these opportunities, we create the relationship. We support each other. That's how we build we create the opportunities through our relationships. Last time during our TLI training, they were asking whom you are going to thank for, for um, during your Toastmasters journey. I put Linda as one of the people 
who I thankful for, because Linda used to be could I could say she was my mentee because she joined our club through me. But over time, her leadership skills were surpassed me or way better than me, and I learned so much from her. And because of the collection, because of the relationship I built with her, she also introduced me to her company. Right now, we are working as a team at, at, at the company. So it's outside of our, our club, we had a lot more opportunities. This is, I just use my experience, but also for the collections opportunities. Without Toastmasters, I wouldn't have met Michael. Michael is a professional speaker. And in the very last minute, I asked him, would you be willing to be our grammaring because we this role is still open? And he said yes. So I just want to say when I started Toastmasters and my first pathway, I was just like many of you who just joined Toastmasters, nervous, unsure. And I only think about improving my language skills. Just want to start from the ABCs. But today I'm able to give you this reflection, which is the privilege of this club give to me. And this environment is so important to me. So hopefully you find that you are ABCs and put in your pocket and always remind yourself, you have a future with limitless opportunities. Thank you.